Hi everyone, Outdoor Fabrications back here with you. Hoping you all had a good Christmas. It's that time of year between Christmas and New Year. It's a little bit of a lull here. Enjoying my Starbucks coffee and my Christmassy mug. Uh, gotta tell you a little story. A uh, day or two before Christmas, my lovely wife, Margaret, came to me and she says, uh, you know, I don't quite have enough Christmas presents yet. And then came those four words that every man out there just hates to hear. What she said was, give me your wallet. I can still feel the chill from that, fellas, and it's been a few days, but I still feel the chill. You know what I'm talking about. So anyhow, I had to kick in my man brain real quick and come up with something. So I said to her, honey, sweetie, why are we gonna run down to Satanville, also known as Walmart, and buy something that was made in a Chinese sweatshop? Why don't we just show our friends what they really mean to us? We'll make them something. It'll mean more to them. They'll feel better. And she pretty much went for it. So, you know, I still got the thing working up here. Uh, so what I did was I had talked to you a little bit about uh, electrochemical etching. So this video is going to be all about that. How it works, what it looks like, how it all happens. And as soon as it's done, I'm going to come back here and close it off for you. See you soon. So the first step to doing this is to lay it out on a design program. Uh, we use the Cricut. Actually, my lovely wife, Margaret, uses the Cricut. I don't usually do this very much. I leave this... The artistic part's kind of left up to her. But the very first step is to design what you want. Uh, this is a really good program. It works well. And this is what it's eventually going to look like. And now we're going to move on to the... we got a special little printer that cuts this out of vinyl. And we'll move on to that in a minute. So here's the process. That's a green cut board on the back. And we pick that color vinyl. It goes up into the cutter printer. And we're ready to go. So right now, that's the lovely wife, Margaret, pressing the cut button. And you can pretty much see how this thing works. It's pretty quick. It's pretty easy. It's going to take a minute. It finds the size first of what we're doing. Make sure it has free travel. And now it's going to start doing the actual cutting of our design from the computer. I'm sure this is boring the living hell out of you, but I just wanted to show you how it works in general. So I think I'm going to end this, and we will uh, pick it back up when I go to put it on a piece of steel. Kind of neat though, isn't it? That's cool shit. We'll see it. Okay, here we are. We're on the next step. We're about ready to start the uh, electro etching process. That's going to be our piece right there. I uh, hope you can see it all right. The piece on the left. This is what it looks like with the stencils all on it. Um, that's what's known as your sacrificial piece, I think most people call it. Um, I have a DC power supply right next to my, you know, Christmas decorations. I'm festive here. But this is the DC power supply. And what happens is you basically submerge this into this little mixture. Um, what this is, you probably can't see it, but what this is is nothing more than water. I use regular tap water right out of the well. And I put as much salt in it as you can put uh, a lot of people will tell you there's a definite mixture and some will add vinegar, some will do whatever, but what I've found out is that this works just about the best. Uh, I don't really go by definite measurements of what I'm adding to it. I just more or less put in until, and you probably can't see it in the bottom because I've done a lot of etching with this and it does leave a metal residue that rusts, you know, salt, rust, air, it all goes together. But uh, basically, I just mix the salt in there, 
until it won't dissolve anymore, until it's super saturated. Um, I could tell you a little more about the electrolysis aspect of it, but if you're all that interested in anodes and diodes and all that, you might as well just do a Google search on it. I'm not really a chemistry teacher, but let me get this set up. I'll turn it on, get it going, and I'll show you what it looks like. So that's the process that's happening right now. I don't know if you can see it, but on the sacrificial piece, you got a lot of bubbling. Uh, we have the negative electrode hooked up to that. Down here is the piece we're going to be etching. That's the positive electrode hooked to that. Uh, it's really hard to see right now. I'll give you a few updates as the process goes on. This is a little bit thicker steel than what I've used before. This is actually a 10 gauge piece of steel here. Uh, what I try to do is I found best that I run it at 5 amps, as close as I can get it to 5 volts is about where I like to run it at. Uh, I'm going to do some little adjustments here after I shut this off. But I'm going to let this go for an hour. Uh, I'll show you the difference in an hour when I get back. It's going to be a lot of scum on top. Uh, that's the metal coming off of it. Um... I'll get back to you in an hour and we'll check how deep our etching is. If it's not deep enough, we're going to let it go longer. I'll talk to you in a bit. And here we are about, uh, we're 40 minutes into it right now. You can see the scum starting to form on the top. That just means you're working. Don't let that bother you. I know other people have said this has an odor that it gives off, but I have never detected any, but you know. The Jack Daniels may have dulled my senses a little bit, but we'll get back to you and let it go a little while, and I'll get back to you and show you again. So after two hours, this is about what the secret sauce looks like, I guess you would say. This is the salt water, and you can see there's quite a bit of, quite a bit of scum on top of it. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, the wood that I floating in there is the wood that I set the, you know, the piece to be etched on. And it doesn't really make a mess. I know it looks like a mess, but it doesn't really make a mess. But here is the, I don't know how well you can see it, but that's almost the finished product. Um, I'm going to go over that with some steel wool that'll get the, uh, you know, get some of the watermarks out of it. But as you can see, everything that was covered with the vinyl stays there. Uh, the etch isn't terribly deep. I mean, there's quite a, you know, if you can feel it, there's a pretty good, pretty good ridge there. I don't know how easily you can see it here, but uh, it actually does a really nice job. And like I said, I'm going to go over this with a little more steel wool, clean it up a little bit. Uh, I may end up putting like gold letters or black in back and then coat it with a clear coat. But it really does a nice job. Uh, it's a simple thing. I mean, the investment is nothing. Um, it's easy to do. It takes a little time. This is my, I showed you that was my DC inverter. Bought that off Amazon quite a while ago. I don't know what it cost me. I think it was like 50 or $60. Just tap water and regular table salt. And you can see that's the, that's the next project I'm doing for my son to give out for a Christmas present. But again, just mix the table salt until the water will not take any more salt. Uh, get it super saturated. Positively goes on the piece you want to etch. Negative lead to your sacrificial piece. Give it time, and it'll come out pretty good. I'm not, uh, I'm not upset with this at all. Like I say, once you clean it up, it's gonna look great. So, thanks for watching. Bye. So that's the whole process. I hope you liked it. Uh, I think it's really cool, actually. Um, the etching comes out pretty much perfect. It's really something to see and it doesn't take an awful lot of effort uh 
If you looked real closely, you might have seen a quick shot of the shy and yet lovely and talented Margaret. Maybe someday I can get her to go a little farther into how the uh, cricket thing works and that's how we put, that's how we do the glass etching. That, that's the crickets, how we do everything. So I gave the present out. They liked it. You know, when it, I say I went over it with a little bit of steel wool and I did and we, we put kind of like a shadow, a black shadowy background on it. Not very much. You can still, you know, still see most of the steel. A couple coats of clear coat, wrapped that thing up and I was off the hook. So, like I say, it's a pretty simple process. It's going to lead to a few more things for me. Um, what I'm eventually going to do, and I don't know if you can see it, but on this one we have the, the phoenix. Uh, you know, rising out of the ashes on that glass. And I think what's going to happen is I'm probably going to start taking these man cave coasters and matching on here what you see on the glass. Make it a little more nicer. I think you'll like it. Don't forget, these are all available. All available. All you got to do is get a hold of me. So anyhow, I hope you guys had a great Christmas. I know I did. I got several bottles of my... Uh, my favorite beverage, ranging from this cute little guy all the way up to the $50 big one. I could show you what this is. Well, YouTube gets a little upset with me on copyright, so we'll just do it quick. It's Jack Daniels. And I got several of these for Christmas. Thank God I'm alive. But uh, it's leading me kind of into my next, my next project here. I don't know. You've seen before that I've been making some of these. Uh, these are the steel desktop organizers and I think what I'm gonna do I saw a guy they do this thing called you know steampunk where the hell that name came from I don't know it's ridiculous but they call it steampunk whatever it is so I'm thinking what I'm gonna do on my next project because I haven't really got back to the other projects I've got going that I've showed you uh, I'm probably gonna redesign this just a little bit and I think what I'll do is I've seen guys who take like empty bottles like like this one and they'll end up putting a light inside there and they'll use that for a light so I was thinking uh, you know desktop organizer thing to do would be to somehow hook this up so that it had a desk light so that it shined like this and underneath it we'll put a little charging station for your phone and all that and uh I think that'll work. I gotta figure out how to make it a little bit adjustable so you can move it around. But God, that's just a cute little bottle, isn't it? Isn't that just the cutest thing you ever did see? My son's girlfriend gave this to me. God love her. Cute little kid. Anyhow, I hope you all had a great Christmas. We're moving into New Year's now. I uh, hope to see a lot more of you next year. And I hope you all have a great, happy New Year. Stay safe out there. If you're going to be drinking a beverage, make sure you don't overdo and get in that car, okay? Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.